Dad's right comic here with Matt Flashtastic. Oh, that's right. Flashtastic decided to sit this one out, guys. He's currently watching Hellboy the Golden Army. We let him pick a movie. That's what he chose. God, I hate YouTube. I can't blame him. It's an awesome movie, so we'll just do this one without him. But welcome to the Jamco Review Show where we unbox and review the things that you love. And on, on today's epic episode, we do the BAM box. box that's right for the month of July. This is technically our third BAM box, the first of which was the horror one for the month of June, which we did a review. I freaking love that box. Can't wait for the next one. Now, we didn't film uh, June's core box because we are honest to ourselves and to you guys, and we just felt like it didn't constitute a video. With this one, we're just gonna go ahead and just take a risk. I know for a fact that this is the regular box, not the horror box, but I ready to dig in? Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. So this is a touch of class. They give us some black tissue paper to safeguard the stuff in there. And I just saw something that you were going to love. All right, let's just go ahead and just do it. Ooh. Oh. Okay, all right. That's that was interesting. The reason why my kids are so excited about Harry Potter, this of course is a replica Harry Potter wizard wand. I believe it's from the Order of the Phoenix. I'm not too sure. And this is truly beautiful. It has some weight to it. But you know what? We can't do this uh, review without uh, your brother. He loves Harry Potter as well. You ready? All right, let's do some magic. Okay. This is gonna be. All right, let's give him some room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready? What are some of the spells? Uh. I'm just gonna make one up. A Perioso! That was epic! Nice. Look what we got! Whoa, the wand from Harry Potter! Yeah, my kids have been getting into uh, Harry Potter. They recently did a full movie marathon. They saw all of the Harry Potter movies. And they started with the Sorcerer's Stone and they went all the way to the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Let's go ahead and talk about this wand. Tell me about this bad boy. Uh, Marty, uh, start off with the actual uh, mold or the sculpt of it. I like the... The handle? Yeah. And uh, you like the way this feels? It's it's almost like a, like a resin casting. They, they painted it to look like, I guess, like a copper or like wood carving. I really do like that. Uh, talk to me about the actual color itself, buddy. I really like the color. Mm -hmm. I like the copper or like brown. And I like this part because it always looks like wood. Mm -hmm. And Harry Potter's one from Deathly Hallows 2. It was just plain and this wasn't messed up. It was actually just like... Regular? Okay. Yeah. So you're saying that this one might have a lot more detail than the other wands. So that's yeah. absolutely fantastic. I have a quick question. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Harry Potter. What about you? Hermione. Hermione? <laughs> and Ron Weasley. And Ron, okay, Ron Weasley. Okay, cool. Uh, mine is going to be Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf? This joke is different. Than, I know, yeah, I know. I was just joking. I, I, I know their names, guys. Mine was uh, the big dude that goes, you're a wizard, Harry. Hagrid. Hagrid. Oh, yes, Hagrid. I like that. I like Whatever. All right. I love pins. I collect pins. Let me see what this is. This is most excellent pin I've ever received. This is fantastic. This is, of course, Ted Theodore from Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure, or just Bill and Ted Bogus Journey. This is fantastic. This is designed by Nick Cocosa, very talented. And of course, this is Keanu Reeves. He's holding up the uh, air guitar. Of course, he's in a band called the Wild Stallions. Fantastic pin. I love the color. It's vibrant. It looks exactly like Keanu Reeves. The Wild Stallions font is phenomenal. And one thing I've noticed, I tend to gravitate towards pins with two pin backings on the back because they stay in place. The last band box that we got, the horror one, it was a Killer Clowns from Outer Space pin and it had two pin backings and it does not swivel or turn on my backpack like other pins that I have and this is fantastic. And this is the movie you probably haven't seen. This is a movie that I truly love and they just announced that they're going to do a brand new Bill and Ted movie coming out next year. Same cast of course with the exception of George Carlin. Rest in peace. Pretty cool? I don't even know that. After we watch, uh, finish watching Hellboy, we're gonna watch Bill and Ted. It's fantastic. I guess this is a two-parter. This comes in two little boxes. All right. So let's let's open up the smaller one first. This is this is weird. It's odd. Ah, it's a glass square. A block. It's a block. Ah, okay. Actually, it's not glass. It feels like acrylic. Whatever acrylic they use is fantastic. It is beautiful. There's no flaw. There's no blemish. There's no scratch marks. There's no seam line. This is fantastic. All right, we just put that right there. And 
Uh, marble. Marble? This looks familiar. I want to oh, say it's from in it. maybe a sci-fi movie. I'm thinking it looks like maybe something from Blade Runner or something like that. We I recently saw the Ryan Gosling Blade Runner. wasn't really much of a fan. It was okay. It wasn't that great of a movie. I do like the original Harrison Ford one, but I will say that the pacing of the new Blade Runner was fantastic, and I think that's what it is. But I mean, it's see-through. It could be a cool marble. What do you guys think? It's cool. It looks cool. Do you like it though? So there's uh, two more items in here. They usually give us an artwork and, a, and an autograph of some sort of, I think this is gonna be the picture with an autograph. And who can it be? You guys get first tip. The upper right. Ooh, it's from Jumanji. That is freaking oh, cool. Oh, I know that movie. That is awesome. You have Kirsten Dunst in the middle and you have, what's this guy's name? Bradley Pierce, he played the little monkey boy. He turns into a monkey and he actually signed it. That's absolutely fantastic. Maybe we'll meet the other people at a convention sometime and we'll get the rest of the signatures. But this is absolutely yeah. fantastic. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. I did not like the brand new Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. You guys like the movie? The now, which one, one, you like the new uh, one or the old one? The old one was kind of better because it has more animals and, it's, and it takes place in the house. Yes, I do like the, the central location. I do like the setup. And I really do like the practical effects of it too. I freaking love this movie. I love the signature. Not a bad deal. Here we have... Ooh, cool, Dino Crunch. <laughs> oh, is it is him? supposed to be stylized like a cereal box. And of course, that is Owen from Jurassic World. Oh. It says uh, Jurassically Delicious and it says free Dino DNA. That's fantastic. Dino cool. Crunch. We, out of 2,000 pieces, we got 1,558. That is pretty cool. I really do like the artwork. I really do appreciate that. What do you guys think of the actual colors? It's cool and it really looks like him. I like the purple in the background. That's right, it's supposed to be Chris Pratt. If this was a real cereal, would you like to eat it? Yeah. Yeah? I like oh, the yeah. marshmallows that are in cereal that is fantastic okay whether you like bambox or not i will say that bambox does hit on a niche market out of the core and the horror box i would have to say that i gravitate more to the horror box which i cannot wait to get overall what do you guys think of the box it was legendary legendary it was yeah phenomenal okay that's cool what would you give this box marty four out of five four out of five okay what would you give this box five out of five five out of five I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, a, just a four, a four out of five. Uh, it has some really cool items. There's some things in here that I don't really think I'd use. So what should we use as a means of grading? The wand, of course. The wand. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use that wand. Uh, you guys ready? Could yeah. we agree on a, a solid four, just four throughout? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so we're gonna give this four out of five Harry Potter wands out of five. Okay. You guys ready to count with me? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and count along with us, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four out of five. You have anything awesome to say to these beautiful people out here on YouTube? Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment below. That's right, everyone. Go ahead and super smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell uh, notification so you know when we upload a video. And you guys ready to disappear? Yeah. Yeah. Let's use that wand. Ready? Three, two, and... Spell